Good morning, church family. Pastor Brett here, and to visitors, welcome to our devotional channel here at Rockhampton Baptist. I used to be a high school manual arts teacher, and manual arts gives you a wonderful insight into the differences of how different people process information. Not many students at school are natural born craftsmen. You know, it takes a while. But many of them do choose to do woodwork and metalwork thinking that it's an easy ride, only to discover later that it's actually very, very complex. What they thought was easy actually becomes enormously frustrating for them. One issue, of course, is kids that don't follow instructions properly. They either hear half of the instruction and just go ahead thinking that they know the answer, or they hear the instruction, but they just ignore it. It leads to frustration and things go wrong and this wonderful dream project that they imagined um, ends up as a, in a big mess. It reminds me of um, something that Jesus taught when he taught about what it meant to be a disciple. Sometimes people, they want to follow Jesus, but they want to do it on their own terms. They imagine this grand lifestyle full of God and all the benefits that come with it, but they ignore the discipleship instructions. Here's what Jesus has to say about what it means to be a disciple. I'm reading from Matthew chapter 7, verse 24. Anyone who listens to my teaching and follows it is wise, like a person who builds his house on solid rock. Though the rain comes in torrents and the floodwaters rise, the winds beat against that house, it won't collapse because it's built on bedrock. But anyone who hears my teaching and doesn't obey it is foolish, like the person who builds a house on the sand. When the rains and floods come, the winds beat against the house, it will collapse with a mighty crash. Jesus contrasts two responses to his teaching. Both responses hear the words of Jesus, but one of them puts his words into practice and the other one doesn't. In this metaphor or simile, if you like, Jesus paints a picture of the kind of life that results from these different outcomes. One is a picture of strength and safety and security and resilience in times of hardship. The other is a picture of no foundation. This life is destroyed in hard times. The thing is, people want the life that God offers, but so often they don't, need, they don't walk the path that they need to walk in order to get there. The truth is, God gives us everything that we need in order to live a life full of joy and peace and love and hope. And those are the things, the fruit in life, that transform a life and have a great effect on those around us. But you don't get that unless you follow Jesus' lead. You cannot just know what Jesus says. You have to do it. It's a matter of information versus transformation. We can have all the information about God, but unless it makes a difference in our life, that information is useless. After all, Satan knows probably all there is to know about God, but it hasn't changed the way he is. If God's call to a certain life shows us how to get there and we ignore his lead, who is to blame when we don't end up with the life that matches our calling? God wants to fill our lives, not just our heads. The measure of Christian maturity is not what you know, but how the knowledge of God transforms your life. There may be something in your life that you are doing now, and you know that that is not what God wants. My call to you today is to stop doing that and do the right thing. There may be some of you in your life at the moment who are not doing what you know you should do 
God has called you to do something and you're resisting it, my call to you today is to do it and trust God. Let's pray. Lord, we acknowledge today that you give us everything we need. You shine a light on our path, sometimes just one step at a time. But you promise you'll always be with us. And yet sometimes, Lord, we, we walk our own way. And I pray today, Lord, that we would turn now, that this will be a point of turning for us that we will seek to step in the way that you show us, that we can experience the fruit of life that you promise. We pray for your strength in this and for the transforming work of your spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. So keep walking with God and keep talking with him. Be prepared to listen back as he talks to you through the Bible. And if he does speak, trust and obey. Keep looking for opportunities to bless others, and we'll see you soon.